In this station you have a pithball electroscope and an acrylic rod and a piece of fur. What you do is take the acrylic rod and rub it with the fur. Do this a number of times and then bring the acrylic rod close to the pith ball about three or four centimeters away closer than I did and see what happens. Don't forget to record your observations. When you're finished pick up the acrylic rod and rub it with your hands a few times then leave it back on the table. And don't forget to squeeze the pit ball with your fingers a few times before you move to the next station. At station two, you'll have two glass rods. Be careful with these because they are breakable. Also your choice of fabrics, cotton, felt, silk, and some fur. What you do is grab both glass rods in one hand, but make sure that they're not touching each other, and choose two out of the four fabrics. You can choose any one you want. I'll choose the felt for one glass rod. And I'll rub the felt on the glass rod a number of times without touching the other glass rod, and then I will choose silk, and I will rub the silk on the other glass rod without touching the first one. Once that's done, I'll put one glass rod in each hand, come around to the side of the pith ball, and bring them in close to the pith ball, closer than I do, and you'll see something happen. Write down your observations in the Google Doc slides. Make sure to rub both glass rods with your hands and leave them on the table before moving to the next station. And of course, squeeze the pith ball a few times with your fingers. In this station, we're going to have two different balloons and two pieces of fabric, cotton and fur. What you do in this station is take one balloon and rub it very well with the cotton fabric. Do this for about 20 or 30 seconds. After rubbing the balloon, try and stick the balloon to a wall and see how well it's. Now take the second balloon and your piece of fur and rub the fur on the balloon many times, just like you did with the first balloon. Do this for about 20 or 30 seconds. Then try and stick the second balloon onto the wall. Compare how each balloon stuck to the wall in your Google Doc slides. When you're finished with your station, be sure to rub the balloons off with your hands and leave them sitting at the station for the next person. At station four, you'll see a red balloon hanging from the ceiling with a smiley face. At this station, take a black piece of felt and rub the balloon on the smiley face many, many times. Now let the balloon hang again and step away from the balloon. Then slowly walk towards the balloon and see what happens. Make sure to record your observations. When you're finished, 
Rub the balloon a few times with your hands before moving on to the next station. At station 5, you will have an acrylic rod and a piece of silk. As well, there will be a rubber rod hanging from a piece of string. At this station, what you want to do is take the piece of silk and carefully hold the rubber rod as you rub the piece of silk on each end of the rubber rod. Try to keep the string in place in the center so that it hangs properly. After you've rubbed the silk on the rubber rod, take the acrylic rod and do the same with that. Once you've finished, bring the acrylic rod very close but not touching the rubber rod. Closer than I bring it and see what happens. Make sure to write down your observations. When you're finished, be sure to rub off the acrylic rod with your hands a few times and leave it on the table. Do the same thing to the rubber rod. At station 6, you'll see an empty can of pop at the starting line and a piece of gray PVC pipe. Also on the table will be a piece of white fur. Take the white fur and rub it against the PVC pipe many, many times. Make sure to do this for a good amount of time, and after that's finished, take the PVC pipe and without touching the pop can, try and move the pop can down the table until it rolls past the finish line. You might want a friend to help you out with this. Before starting the race, grab an iPhone or an iPad and open the app Ubersense Coach. Take a video of the entire race from start to finish so that you can analyze it in slow motion when you're finished. What you want to do is figure out the exact time it takes for the can to roll from the start to the finish line using the PVC rod. And remember, we cannot touch the pop can with the rod. When you're finished, rub off the pop can and the PVC rod with your hands before moving to the next station. At station 7, you'll find a rubber rod, a piece of silk, and a foil leaf electroscope which has two pieces of aluminum foil hanging inside a flask. It's connected to a piece of metal which runs up through a rubber stopper and connected to a metal ball on the top. Take the silk and rub it against the rubber rod many times. When finished, bring the rubber rod very close to the round metal ball on top, about two or three centimeters away and observe what happens. Be sure to record your observations in the Google Doc slides. When you're finished at this station, make sure to rub the rubber rod with your hands a few times before moving to the next station. At station 8, you'll find a rubber rod, a piece of cotton, and the foil leaf electroscope as well. This station is a little more challenging than station 7. First, take the cotton and rub it against the rubber rod 
a number of times. When you're finished, take the rubber rod and bring it very close to the round metal ball on the top of the electroscope and hold it still about two or three centimeters away. While you're holding it this distance away, use your other hand and quickly touch the metal ball on the top. The entire time you're doing this, be sure to observe what's happening with the foil. What happens here that's different from station 7? Be sure to rub the rubber rod with your hands a few times.